when you came on our air and you talked about the situation sure. uh, that happened at CAMH, you were criticized for some of those comments. Yeah. Um, do you regret in any way how you characterize that situation? No, I don't regret it at all. This is the person I was talking about took a meat cleaver and hacked up his roommate. Who does that? And there isn't one person in this room, including yourself, would want him as a neighbor. No one. And it's about time politicians stop hiding behind, you know, podiums and, and being politically correct. He grabbed a meat cleaver and chopped up his roommate. Why was the media concerned about the poor victim? Not a word from the media about the victim. How about the poor victim's family? Just imagine if it was your, your daughter that this animal chopped up. That's sickening. And then he's wandering around and no one knows where he is. He could be down the street right now. So no, I, I don't. We have to put in policies. And then, by the way, nine other people walked away from KMH. You remember the person on the Greyhound that beheaded the person and started eating him? Well, guess what, my friends? We paid for his education. He's walking free right now. And I'm supposed to be a bleeding heart saying, oh, let's take care of him? I have zero sympathy for these people. I have sympathy for these poor families. Just imagine the pain they're going through right now. So to answer your question, no. We have to have tougher laws in this country. We've got to put these people away. And if they have mental health issues, they can be dealt with in jail. Simple as that. Are you concerned that when you make uh, comments about him, uh, him being an animal, uh, and comments about people with mental illness, uh, how they should be treated while being in jail, that these uh, types of comments uh, might be prejudicial um, to uh, people like him getting uh, fair legal proceedings here in Ontario? You've got to be kidding me. You're, you're, you're telling me I should sympathize with, with people that murder people? Uh, my friend, I differentiate between people with mental illness that our government's putting more money into mental illness, $3.8 billion mental illness and addiction, than any government in the history of Canada. I'm passionate about helping people that have true mental illness. This person was a murderer. He hacked up, I don't, I don't know if you heard me the first time, he hacked up his roommate with a butcher knife and he's walking free. Do you think that's all right? Do you want him as a, a roommate? Would you want him as a roommate? I'm asking you. No, the answer is no. So stop sympathizing with axe wheeling murderers and all this bleeding heart stuff. I'm passionate about helping people with mental illness. This guy should have never been let loose in my opinion. But that's where the federal laws have to be a lot tougher. So that, that, that's my answer. And uh, no, I don't regret uh, uh, calling him what I called him because that's exactly what, what he is. Does he need help? Why is he walking the streets right now? Why is he free if he needs help? Our system is broken. We're gonna hold him accountable. There's 10 people that walked out the doors of KMH. They caught a few, but the rest are walking around. I'll let the people decide. I'll guarantee you, if I asked these people out here, 99, if not 100%, would say, I don't want this guy as my neighbor. I don't want him walking the streets. So that's my answer.